pretty people. Welcome to Simply Delish Duo. Today we decided to do something a little different. We are making a recipe that's gone viral on TikTok, viewed millions of times. You guys, it is tomato feta pasta. Not only is it so simple, it is super amazing and delicious, you guys. So if you like this recipe and would like to see more, please subscribe to our channel by hitting that red subscribe button below. All right, let's run down the list of the ingredients that you will need. We've got about three cups of cherry tomatoes. Go, you can go ahead and use a vine tomatoes if you like, but we're using cherry tomatoes. Just make sure they're the smaller ones. You don't want to put the big tomatoes. A block of feta cheese, and we've got an eight ounce block. You don't want to use that crumbled feta cheese. You want to use a fresh block. A box of farfalle. Now you could use any kind of pasta also. But um, we're choosing to use farfalle. And it's 454 grams. Now, when I was searching this recipe, actually, the, someone mentioned don't use long pasta like spaghetti because it's no. creamy. They say try to use a smaller, like penne or a shorter pasta. It's just easier to make. Or even the, the small corkscrew. Yeah. Because then the juice, the sauce gets in between. Oh, yeah, that yeah, would be really good. good. Mm -hmm. Fresh basil. And we've got, um, we've got about half a cup here, yeah. fresh basil. Three garlic cloves, right? Three, yeah, yeah, three garlic cloves. So we've got in this bowl salt, pepper, and oregano. So about a teaspoon of each. Of course, we will need olive oil. And the recipe calls extra virgin olive, extra oil. Virgin yep. olive oil. And it calls for half a cup of olive oil. You know, it might sound a lot, but it's not because we're going to mix everything together. And that's it. So the first step is let's add in our olive oil. And we just... You don't have to be careful here. And I'm just going to eyeball it. That's about almost half a cup. We're going to drizzle some on top of, of the feta cheese. Yeah, let me mix. Our you got, I made this. I made this the other day, and it was delicious. It looked delicious. I wanted to try it, and it was good. And actually, I have a question. Have you guys tried it? And if so, I want to know what you think. So, I already told you what I think. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, she loves it, so that's I why do. we're making it, because I haven't tried it yet. So, I'm excited, because I love feta, I love tomatoes, and who doesn't love pasta? Exactly. And you know, pasta's made with the same recipe, but I find that every, every different shape of pasta tastes different for some reason. Absolutely. So I do, I like the corkscrews and the farfalle with these. With these? What yep. did you make with yours? Was it? Farfalle. Oh, did you? Oh, okay. And then, okay. I, and then I thought about it with the corkscrew. I thought, oh, that would be good too because the sauce would get in between. In between. All right, so that's nicely mixed. Now we want to kind of create a little well here because we are going to put our feta cheese right in the middle. In the middle. Oh, my hands are getting a little dirty. Okay, so now we're just going to drizzle. Oops, a little more than a drizzle of olive oil. Sprinkle some salt and pepper and oregano on top. I'll get the garlic ready for you. I actually kind of minced my garlic, so you could do it either or. Just sort in half cloves, mince it. And I'm just going to mm. place it randomly. The basil, we're not going to add the basil in yet. That comes in later after we end. boil the pasta. Mm -hmm. So this, oh, it goes in for half hour at 400 degrees. Perfect. So we'll mm -hmm. stick this in the oven because it already is preheated. Mm -hmm. So we'll be back in half an hour and show you what it looks like. And in the meantime, we are also going to be boiling our pasta. Yeah. So we've taken it out of the oven. It's been 30 minutes. And you can see the tomatoes have popped while roasting in the oven. They cook so really good. They did cook mm -hmm. really good. And lots of the tomato juices are released. So now we're just going to smush up and you can use whatever you can actually probably use a potato masher too you if can, you want it or a four yeah like a spoon i'm just gonna use my spoon here so what i'll do is i'll smush it up as well as let's see how this cheese is oh, oh wow. yeah that's nice so you cream it up i just wanted to add that i always reserve a good cup of that nice starchy pasta water with anything i make because um as you can see the tomatoes are juicy but just in case you need that extra liquid the starchy pasta water yeah. is perfect. So what I'm going to do, I am going to drain my pasta. My sister's gonna be smushing all this up and we'll be back. Okay, I drained my pasta, all good to go. So you guys just cook your pasta as per what the package says. And I've oh. also smushed up everything. Look how creamy. <laughs> I, was gonna dump it in there, sorry. I wanted to show them how yeah, creamy yeah. 
beautiful. It's delicious. beautiful, creamy. It looks so good. Go ahead, do your thing. Okay, <laughs> let's dump this pasta in here. There. We'll put it. We'll put more in after, but yep. just for this video here, so it doesn't all spill all over the place. You guys, I'm just gonna put the remainder if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. There, perfect. Lots of room. Awesome. And if you find it still too dry, that we reserve that pasta. We still have like some more said. pasta Absolutely. water, but right now it's actually looking pretty That's looking good pretty here. Good. That pasta still soaks up all that all that liquid. It does. So, mm. so now, actually, I maybe would add maybe a little, just a touch. I will on. add a little more yeah. water just to keep the creamy consistency here. And I'll mix and you do basil. You mix, and mm -hmm. now the basil goes in last. So I'll just chop it up with my hands here. Just break it up with my hands. And I'm using about five to six basil leaves here. Yeah. Oh, that basil smells good. Yeah, I know. Fresh basil. Mm -hmm. And it's important, I think, to use a fresh basil. Yeah. Not that oh, I know because good. I haven't made this, but. Okay. Can we so, break some up too? No, you know what? While we're doing this, I will just, just keep mixing, I guess. There. Oh, it smells so good. I know. I can't wait to dig in because I haven't tried it before, but it's it looks, good. Believe me, it's it looks good. so delicious. So, guys, I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you haven't tried it already, try it. Yeah, it's good. amazing. Quick and easy. Good to go. Oh, yeah. So I hope you like this recipe. Thank you for watching. Say 